As of today, mandated testing has ended on Texas A&M campus. Officials say they are doing all they can to make sure students and staff are safe while encouraging masks and offering incentives for vaccines. 79,000 students have been tested since mandatory testing became available in August on A&M's campus. The positivity rate was at 4.1 percent, about 3,000 plus people. And in fact, many of those positives were asymptomatic people. So um, the, the, a positive test does not necessarily equate with severe illness across our community. The university says since March, 12,000 individuals have been vaccinated on campus. 11,000 of those are students, with even more getting vaccinated in other places. A&M is able to vaccinate 200 people per day. They have all three vaccine shots available. And, and there's a lot of, of effort being spent to, to make sure we do everything we possibly can. Again, under the rules and regulations of the state of Texas, as a public institution of higher education, we have to... We have to live within the boundaries of the rules that we have um, that we have for us, but we think we're doing everything we can, probably even more. According to education leaders, there are almost 26 factors the school would have to test out before they could move everything to virtual. But professors should be offering ways to make up homework if sick. The university is feeling confident in the way they are monitoring things now, and that includes incentives for vaccines, having up to 60 isolated rooms available for the sick, and wastewater testing. In the wastewater, if the virus is present, which of course we know it is now, we can actually get a measurement of the amount of viral load that is occurring in different parts of campus. And with the flu season being around the corner, that raises another concern. And we'll be adding in uh, flu vaccines here very shortly. Uh, those just arrived last week and we're getting those set up as well. And just as an FYI, you can get your COVID vaccine and your flu shot together if you are interested. Officials say they do expect positivity numbers to rise, being that they are only testing people who have symptoms or may be sick now. They ask their students and staff to stay at home if they are not feeling well.